Hello everyone, this is Neha Sharma from Advanced Innovation Group and th through this video, I intend to help you understand how to make P and NP chart using Minitab. Hope you already know that P and NP chart to be made when you have data of defective with fixed and variable sample size. For illustration purposes, I have created some data here. In column C1, I have put in date. Hope you remember that control chart are time series chart. In C2, I have taken a fixed audit sample of 50 inspected by quality control department. In C3 column, for P chart, I have taken variable sample. And in C4, I have count of defective that have been observed. Now let's use Minitab to build NP and P chart. You go to stats, control chart. You can see that you have three options here. Variable chart for subgroup to be used for X bar R and X bar S chart. Variable charts for individuals for IMR chart. Attribute chart for NP, P, C and U chart. I do it again. Stats, control charts, attribute chart and you can find P and NP chart. In variable, I'll select defective for subgroup. Since subgroup is constant, I'll select column C2. Go to scale and you can put stamp for date C1, press OK, press OK, here we go. You can see that all data points are falling within control limits. Hence, you can interpret that process is within control and there is no special cause variation. Similarly, for NP chart, the path will remain the same, stats, control charts, attribute chart and p chart defective data but this time my subgroup will be variable again you can put a stamp for date okay oh do you observe the difference you can see my control limit is not a constant line but it is moving up and down the reason that my subgroup, my sample was variable. And you can also notice a red dot going outside the control limits. In the sessions window, you can see that the test has failed at point 13. You can track back this point in your data and hence it is important that control charts to be built on time series data. Hope this video helps you understand how to make and interpret control charts using Minitab. Thank you.